Who knows why one club does consistently well against another, but every Charlton fan knows there's something in the Portsmouth air which agrees with the addicts. Jezrak Saki was the latest to feel the force, a sixth league goal on loan from Crystal Palace after 23 minutes. Danny Cowley's side, desperate to kick-start their promotion challenge, struggled to find a way back until in first half stoppage time, Connor Ogilvy finished Sean Raggett's assist. That didn't stop the home manager making three changes at the break, nor did it stop Charlton's superior play three minutes after the restart. Albie Morgan couldn't believe his luck as Scott Fraser was on his way and the midfielder had only one thing on his mind despite the presence of five blue shirts. No wonder goalkeeper Josh Griffiths looked forlorn. Portsmouth were looking every inch a team without a win in more than two months and the mistakes kept on coming like the boos directed at the manager's dugout. But for the crossbar, Fraser would have been celebrating his second and a Charlton third. At least Griffiths got the ball this time. Pity his teammates continue to give it away in open play. A Marlon Pack second yellow card in the space of six minutes summed up the afternoon for Cowley, who later admitted that criticism of recent performances was entirely fair. And to cap it all, Charlton's new boss Dean Holden had even more reason to celebrate his first win as skipper George Dobson saw his save shot take a rebound off Owen Dale for a memorable away day on the south coast. That's a tenth win in their last 11 visits to Fratton Park. Next stop for Portsmouth, Tottenham away in the FA Cup. Well, contrasting emotions in the two dugouts. Dean Holden, three games, got his first win, but real pressure now on Danny Cowley, the Portsmouth boss. Yeah, well, four points in three games for, for Holden is, um, you know, it's a good start for him. Um, Raksaki, great finish there, you know, who's on loan from Crystal Palace, so there might be a few clubs looking at him. But, um, you know, a great finish from Scott Fraser uh, as well. It looks like he's back to the best, a really good finish there in the far corner. But as for Pompey, um, they're in a mess, you know, they're the captain, red card. You know, one, one win in 14 um, is not good enough and, and you can hear the fans and once they start booing, it's, it, it's not looking good. What do you think, Sam? What will happen next at Portsmouth? Well, it's, it's difficult. As Matt says, you know, when the majority of the fans turn, I hope he gets some more games, the opportunity maybe to wheel and deal a little bit in January, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Everyone sees Portsmouth down in, in League One, the size of the club, the history, the, the, the support base. I'm not sure they've got a budget that's comparable with that right now. So... I hope he gets more time because he showed at Lincoln, you know, over a, a few seasons that he can build something really successful. But, you know. Plymouth maintain their four point lead at the top. Sheffield Wednesday leapfrog Ipswich into second. Only three points separate the sides from fourth to seventh. Morecambe's 5 0 win saw them jump off the foot of the table and up to 22nd. They were the only side in the bottom six not to lose. And despite their 4 0 defeat, Accrington climb out of the relegation zone on goal difference.